Hey, how's it going? My name is the VC Veda and I have a new add-on that I've been working on and now it's available for purchase on Gumroad page. The link in the description below. So let's get to it. Here's how you use it. I have here a few FBX files that I'm going to import. I took the time and modeled these out myself based on this picture that you see here. It's a building near where I live in Stanford uh, and uh, very cool. Once you've cleaned up and made sure you've gone into the shade editor and made all the windows transparent again, because FBX imports don't, they, they screw things up. And so just make sure your textures and things are set the way you like it. And so when you open up the panel, you want to begin by selecting your collection that you want to build these things in and then start with your base. The base right here, you can tell on the Z axis, it's set to two meters. And you know that just because it's it's really high, you see that. And so you want to make sure you set the base Z to two. What we want to do is pair all these uh, all these objects to the to the instances. And so we want to just select them and, and pair them all up together like this. We're going to skip the extras right now, but I'll show that with you, for you in the next building that we build. Just check that off and hit create building. There you go. It's super cool and intuitive. You can still mess with the height, the width and the, and the depth. All of that is accessible and manipulated. Um, and, uh, it's pretty cool. So that's, just a, a real rough illustration of the power of what this could be. Again, the more time and practice you spend on modeling your building and with the details, that the, the better this would look. Now, the second part for this is this other building. Okay, so moving on here to the next building, I really want to just quickly, very quickly show you how to set up your items. This is very cool, and really, this is uh, what will add a lot more randomness and, uh, and and help your building stand out. And so, I've already gone ahead and modeled two different items, item A and B, and all I all I did was model them out. Once you line it up with the front face of the wall, um, just make sure you reset your origin point. To the very back to to the world origin where it's supposed to be so all of these the item a and b are always going to be on your main wall and then you're good to go and and that's pretty much it so now you create your building and it looks pretty awesome and you can adjust these parameters to see how often they appear with each other um, and you can get pretty creative on what these uh items are that, that you populate here uh, anything from window blinds to all sorts of things I, I will be adding more items to randomize but in the meantime it's uh we, we have this to work with so i really hope you guys enjoy it and uh and that you enjoy making these buildings don't forget these buildings are free they i will include them uh with the with the purchase of the add-on so you can quickly have two buildings to look at and to see how how i did them and and how you can do them um and i hope you enjoy and uh like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time